Okay, so it is Wednesday morning, the 12th, and I knew it was gonna happen eventually. My daughter did not sleep very well last night, so she most likely will take a nap today during school, so I may not be able to video tonight, so I'm gonna try to video at work, video, record at work, and yeah, so just quick update. I finished the Batman comic book. It was all right, it was all right. Um, I'm gonna finish Scooby today at lunch, and then I'm also listening to Passing. I'm gonna listen to that on the way to work. And I was trying to figure out a way for me to record and listen to my book since I record on my phone. And I remembered that I still own my old iPhone. So I'm going to get that charge, get my uh, Apple ID back on it and stuff like that. And then uh, I'm gonna use that to record while I listen to books at home if I'm able to continue vlogging. At night I don't know if I'm gonna be able to vlog tonight because she is probably not gonna go to she's probably gonna take a nap and not go to bed until like 10 tonight so and by the time she goes to bed we're all ready to go to bed so yeah so that's the update for right now it is 9 19 and I need to get to work so I'll talk to you guys soon okay so I'm at the office I'm in my office and I just want to give you a quick office tour nothing much going on here nothing that I can't show you like that. Okay, so over here is where I hang my coat. And then from there you'll see like my little area for my tea and just decor. I don't know if you can see it, there it is. So my little decor and then my junk corner. Yeah, I have not put this back up. I've been in, in this particular office for a year. And some change so yeah i need to put this back up but then you have my desk <clears throat> i used to have two of these big monitors but i didn't need them i just liked my laptop and then just one of these and my desk this is how my desk looks while i'm here just a mess drawer open stuff going on on my laptop which i can't show you um yeah and then this is my view Of, there's a hotel there, a restaurant right there. Um, those are apartments. And then in this building that we work in, there is an insurance company, a trucking, maybe not trucking, but some type of distribution headquarters here. And also a architect agency here. And next to, I don't know if you can see it. I don't think you'll be able to see it. There's a gym. I am gonna go up and grab some stuff to go with my lunch today downstairs. So I'll show you a bit more. But yeah, so this is what I'm doing. And again, when I'm on my lunch, I will be finishing this. Um, but yeah, so let me get back to work because I have a ton of it. I'll talk to you later. Okay, so it's lunchtime and this is what I'm having. I'm having, I think this is about three cups of spinach, which is going to be hell on me later. But, and then veggies, I have um, cucumber, some red onion in there, and I have tomato. And I think that's it. And then I have some chicken that my husband made for me and some roasted veggies in here too, some potatoes and some green peppers and then I have the toppings which I'm not going to use all I clearly put too much in this bag but there's some roasted red peppers and then some strips of tortilla and then I have you know a good fat <laughs> avocado and I had to go downstairs to Jason's Deli to get dressing because I didn't have any at home so I had to get the dreaded ranch but I'm gonna probably use a fourth of this for my salad and then of course your girl had to get dessert so what I'll do is I'll eat half of this now and then if I get a sweet tooth later tonight I'll eat the other half then so it is a bad food choice but it's not a horrible food choice so yeah and I'm going to take some time and read so yeah and this is my little bento box I don't know if you know what a bento box is I love these things. So I'm gonna have to put you down for just one minute. I'll put you down on the home girls and breast of some things. So this is what it looks like. 
looks like when it's all together. It's a bento box and each layer you can put stuff in. So like this morning I put my breakfast in here, which was a boiled egg and um, three strips of turkey bacon with a stick of cheese. That is great. And then with breakfast, I always have some grapefruit. Because grapefruit, if you didn't know, is a natural laxative. <laughs> Sorry. And then, so then when I do a salad, I like to put it in the bento box so that I can have all the toppings and stuff separate and they don't make my lettuce or in this case, spinach. <clears throat> Um, weird feeling and then I just put these things in Ziploc bags so that I can sit them in here and again not make everything mushy so yeah that's what I'm doing right now I'm gonna read and eat my lunch so I'll talk to you guys soon all right so it is nighttime on I was gonna say November on February 12th which is Wednesday of the week I'm very proud of myself I've done really well at keeping some consistency to these videos <laughs> um but yeah it's 10 o'clock at night and i'm back in my scully and my head wrap and um so tonight i did not work out my daughter did go to sleep early so that made me very happy so i was able to dye my hair so no more gray um oh my moisturizer for my hair because it's still wet um so yeah so i dyed my hair and you may be thinking, is your hair wet or is it dry under that scully? It is partially wet. So halfway through the night when I get up to go to the bathroom, I will take off my hat and my scully to let my hair finish drying. But we're not here to talk about my hair. We're here to talk about books. So I did finish this last night. Um, I still have a bookmarker in it because it has the first chapter of Wonder Woman. Um, and... War, what is it called? Warbringers? Okay. So I wanted to read this because I did put this on hold at my local my local library. So I can get this copy as soon as it's I can get this as soon as it's out. But I think I'm just I'm not gonna read it in here because it's just gonna make me feel like I'm I'm waiting for part two of to a book. This was okay. I don't wanna give too much of a review here because I'm actually I'm glad I reminded myself. I'm gonna put my notes in my phone about this for my comic corner my graphic novel corner um what else did i read today so i am about 10 pages from being done with the scooby-doo book that I showed you at lunch um and i'm not interested in, i don't think i'm going to continue into that that graphic novel series i just thought i would give it a try and again i'm not going to do too much review here so i can make it a part of my comic book my graphic novel corner and then while my hair, while I was waiting for my hair to, for the dye to set, um, which you know after you color your hair, you have to wait like 30 minutes before you can wash out the color. Um, I read this. And what I mean by reading this, most people, when you read a cookbook, you, uh, for me, what I normally do is I read the forward from the author or in this case introduction and hers was very special i'll just read you the top portion of it it says uh, introduction my heart i feed people my husband my children and anyone who walks in my door new faces on my street old friends people who have babies change job changes water damage uh, people who are celebrating, people who are grieving, my town's high school football coaches, the UPS man who knocks on my door, church folks, choke, ch church folks, kin folks, men folks, women folks. Uh, so yeah, it was just really cute. Like she just talked about it. And the author of this is Amy Nelson Hannon. Uh, she is the owner of... I'm not gonna get I'm not gonna say that name right so anyway she has her own like little bakery store bakery shop and she decided to do a cookbook and I, I liked it because it says uh, love welcome serve love welcome serve and that sentiment is me to a T like I am a very expressive person in many areas of my life the main area of my life of expressing myself 
is feeding folks. <laughs> and so just so you know, there's a big bag over here. And I was going to stop this video and not have this bag in this basket. But fuck it. Okay, so this basket over here is a basket of... This basket, the basket and the bag are my uh, daughter's clothes that she's outgrown. And I have a really hard problem just putting them in those donate boxes because people treat those like trash can, trash cans. And sometimes you'll go there and you'll see people actually have put trash in them. And then sometimes I don't know where those go. So it really bothers me. I have a really, really, I can't, I can't do it. I, I, I can't. Um, so what I'm going to do with this, this, and everyone keeps telling me to sell it online. First of all, some of the stuff that's in this was gifted to us and some of it was given to us because people had daughters and they were like, just take whatever you need. And we did. And then some of it we bought and probably 95% of it is what we bought. However, I, anything that someone gives me, I already want to have a hard time giving away. But when it comes to children clothes, you just can't keep them because you're going to be getting new clothes because they grow. Um, but on top of that... Uh, I can't treat gifts that people give me with disregard. And I think it's because when I was little, I was not given a lot of gifts until I moved in with my adopted mom. Um, so if so, and I always, I've always been this way, even after being adopted by my mom, um, when I lived with my grandparents who didn't believe in any holidays, didn't believe in <clears throat> celebrating people in any way, um, when someone did give us a gift that they would let us keep, um, I, I cherished it. Like I have my cabbage patch from my, my very, when I say my very first Christmas, I didn't actually have Christmas until I was eight. I never have celebrated Christmas until I was eight when I lived for a year with my adopted mom before she officially adopted me. Long, crazy story. If you want me to go into it, I go into it. It might upset my family, but it's it's the truth. So, but yeah, so the first Christmas I got, I actually had with my adopted mom. My 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 adopted mom is my is my biological aunt. She is my mother, my biological mother's sister, and she adopted me from my grandparents. Um, but anytime my grandparents let us keep gifts. I would just, I would just, I think I still have like in one of the air tight containers downstairs, I still have a baby blanket that someone gave me for a doll. The baby blanket cost probably more than the doll did. And that was given to me when I was five. I still have birthday cards from when I was, when I went to live with my mom and then when I was able to celebrate my birthdays. I just have a really hard time disregarding gifts. Even if it's something I'm not going to use, um, I will find a use for it because you took the time to give me something. I will forever. I will, I will not treat it with any disrespect. So it's hard for me to just to put these clothes that people have given us in maybe a baby shower or her birthday or just randomly because they, you know, they give you gifts or that we've spent our hard earned money on in these boxes because I don't know what they do with that. You could say, well, go to your, your local salvation. I to give these clothes to people who need them and I know they need them. So I figured the best way to do that is if I sorted the clothes because they range from uh, six months to 4T. My daughter is three years old and she's in a 5T. She's an 11, she has 11 size foot and she is the average height of She's the average height of a four and a half girl, four and a half year old girl. And she is the average height for a small four, four year old boy. She's very tall and she's growing. So seriously, like, and probably by the end of winter, we will have a whole new wardrobe for the summer. So, and listen, I don't spend a lot of money. Walmart and my mom, my mom is my daughter's personal shopper. My mom sends us a package every month with at least at least seven to eight outfits in it. So I now I barely shop for her because my mom does it. Um, but 
that's why that's there. I said all that to say that's why that I that's a long crazy explanation about why there's a bag that looks like trash in a basket. So I'm going to sort it by um by uh baby to toddler and then in the toddler I'm gonna do it um by you know three to four T, that kind of thing, two T, one T, all that kind of stuff. And then I do know some people who are having babies and there are two people are having girls and they've already told me that they love my daughter's clothes so they want her clothes it's her clothes that she can't wear anymore so i'm going to do that so that's why that's there i said all that to say that let me get back to this book now that i did all that so um where was i with this book so this is basically my mantra in life i will feed whoever walks into my home um i had a birthday party for my daughter about at the end of january and uh, we had two charcuterie, charcuterie, we, cheese, cheese plates. We had two of those mounds of food on them. Um, we had six, seven, eight pizzas. We had a mound of, of, of cupcakes. Everything outside of the pizza was homemade. We did everything here. Um, we, what else did we do? Um, her thing was a Mad Hatter's tea party because my daughter is very destructive and I wanted to throw her a tea party, but I knew that if I did a traditional tea party, I would be upset if she ruined it. So, so to like mitigate my feelings being hurt by her destroying it, um, we would just give it a destroyed kind of feel to begin with. And so there would be no, um... There would be no reason for me to be in my feelings. And I know logically, I know she was turning three. So I would know like, oh, it's a tea party. She should just be able to be free or whatever. But I also know me. I know that if I give, uh, put a lot of effort into something and it's treated with, you know, she's not treating it with disrespect or disregard, but it would feel that way to some degrees. So just to mitigate that, I just threw her a Mad Hatter tea party and it was so much fun. And she actually didn't do anything destructive. She really had a good time. And with her being on the spectrum, I was really nervous. I didn't know if I wanted to throw our birthday party because I was like, she has a really hard time with people um, singing to her. Um, either if it's a really, like if it's a slow song and you sing it to her, she will cry. It doesn't matter. You could be singing, I love you. Or you could be singing, Merry Christmas. If you sing it, at, sing it at a slow pace, it's something in her that just, it just makes her cry. And it's a, it's a sad and the sweetest thing ever that it touches her in that way. It's just, I'm thinking about it as making me want to make me cry. But yeah, so we, she had a wonderful time. She did really, really well. I wish I could put a picture over here, but I really don't want her face all over the internet. Um, but she had a really wonderful time and uh, there were, we didn't have a lot of kids here. We had a lot of adults. We had her aunts and uncles here. We had um, we had my um, my old boss and his kids because we go to their parties, their kids parties all the time. So they were here. Um, we had her godmother here. So we had we had people who loved her here, and we had a, we had we had about six or seven kids here. So it wasn't terrible. Um, it wasn't big. But yeah, so again, if you come to my house, I will feed you. You will get fed. I'm telling you right now, um, if it's not me feeding you, it's my husband. My husband is a wonderful cook. He is a wonderful cook. Um, and I'm a pretty decent cook myself. I'm just saying. I mean, I'm just saying. <laughs> anyway, so this this cookbook was... <laughs> keep going off on these tangents. This cookbook was really good, so... Um, however, I didn't really like a lot of the stuff in here was real like down home, uh, Southern kind of stuff. And that's in my wheelhouse already. So a lot of it I didn't like, uh, there was this really pickling, this pickling recipe that I'm definitely going to use. What was the other recipe in here? Oh, I think it was the, um, oh, Texas firecracker, firecrackers. This is really cute, just simple saltine crackers, and you just doctor them up with a little oil, uh, ranch, and uh, red pepper flakes, and dill, and granulated garlic, not uh, gran not not garlic powder. So there was a lot of cute things like that, and there's like there's tons of pulled pork, pork, and brisket recipes in here. So if you're looking for that kind of stuff, then 
this is your this is your cup of tea so then i picked up uh also reading through i am reading through rosie dacon dacon dacon's cookbook and it's called let me feed you now come on these books are speaking to me so i had to pick them up um i'm on the page right now about the real english muffins and if you don't know your girl is undertaking uh bread making so i'm learning how to make bread and i uh, am excited so one of the ones i will be making will be an english muffin um, because english muffins are just delicious and i make homemade jam and things like that so why would you not want to have english muffins so i'm not through with this one i was in my closet while again i was letting the hair the hair dye set and this is as far as i got so yeah i'm not done with that one i am done with this one but again if you are yeah just pick it up and tonight i'm gonna try to read a bit of this before i go to sleep i, I don't know how far i'm gonna get into this i'm nervous i'm i'm thinking that it's not gonna be my cup of tea but if it's not my cup of tea i'm gonna dnf this bitch okay i have talked way too long i'm going to have to cut some of this out because this is 15 minutes this is 15 minutes okay i gotta go and i'll talk to you soon bye